In late 2019, Amazon introduced the request review button, which is allowing to sellers to request reviews from customers and for customers allowing them to leave a rating without really uh, writing a review, just like choosing the star rating, like four or five stars. And since then, listings are getting much higher amount of reviews and ratings than before this uh, change and move that Amazon did. Uh, in this video, I'll show you some statistics and also if you watch my previous video about the review automation where I got blocked from sending messages to customers and I did this transition from the requesting reviews from customers through messages to using the request review automation. I talked about the service SageMailer that I'm using, but now in this video, I will share the, again the amazing results that I got since then and also introduce you to the Helium 10 tool, which is included for free if you're already subscribed to their tool. What's up guys, so in this video we'll start the same way as we started the previous videos. I will do it for a couple of more videos, then I'll do a little break and then next year I will continue with the numbers. And as far as uh, the new account that I got, I just launched a new account, new brand with four SKUs. I launched it not because I want to really show you what is possible. And when I say to show you what possible, it's a new account. Imagine like you starting a new Amazon FBA business and you just showing you what is possible. It's still possible. It's not too saturated. There is so much options and opportunities on Amazon and you should definitely take advantage of this. Uh, I'll start with the main account in Europe and then I'll show you the new account, which I'm going to do probably around 30K for the first month. Uh, but for uh, the main account, as you can see, let me refresh. So we have 145 sales for the day and 160K for the last 30 days. Let me show you some numbers from Europe, okay? So this is the UK. 18 sales for the day and almost 1500 British pounds. Let me show you Germany. five sales and 600 euros for the last 30 days. As you can see, just starting. I don't have enough SKUs there, but you know, it's also a, another income. Now let me show you the new account that I just launched. So 15 sales for the day. And as you can see, like uh, $2,700 for the last 30 day. But as you can see, it's only a couple of days. And just now the product starting, the PPC starting to kick in and you know, the numbers starting to gather up from what I foreseen from my experience, this account, like I'm going to get out of stock very soon with the four SKUs and right now it's only three SKUs, but with the four SKUs and it's around $700 a day. So with the four SKUs, the another one, it's going to be easily like $1,000 a day, uh, 30,000 uh, uh, for the first month, first month. So see what is possible. It's definitely possible to create a new account and start fresh. And I'll actually make a case study, a video showing you the, the process and how much time it took me to create this brand uh, from zero to actually starting making money. Uh, but let's start with a video. Uh, before we start, I would like to welcome you. Thank you for checking this video. Uh, if you're new here and you want to learn about Amazon creating scalable income, finding private label products and selling them on Amazon from anywhere in the world, you can subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss any new video that I release. Let's start. Okay, so I would like to start with, with this article that I came across on, on, with, on Facebook and let's just go over and show you some numbers, the, the, the craziest like numbers that you will see. Uh, so popular products on Amazon have significantly increased the number of reviews and raised the overall star rating since the company introduced one tap ratings last year. Last October, Amazon expanded product reviews by allowing shoppers to leave a star rating without a written review. Since then, the overall star rating has been based on traditional written reviews, one tap ratings and global reviews from Amazon international marketplaces. For example, 
Apple AirPods currently have a 4.8 out of 5 rating based on 195,483 reviews, global ratings. Only 21,467 of those ratings are traditional reviews. The rest, nearly 90%, are the one-tap ratings. For the last 4 months, it has been receiving over 1,000 new ratings a day. Apple AirPods are in the headphones category on Amazon. The average number of reviews per product increased from over 4,000 in 2019 to nearly 25,000 in October 2020 for products in the top 100, while the average rating rose from 4.1 to 4.4 out of 5. Half of the top 100 are now products with at least 10,000 reviews, more than doable the amount a year ago. Many other categories exhibit the same change. So you don't just see it in the top 100 only or in specific categories, you just see it for all items, including my listings. And let me show you some of my numbers here, okay? So I have this Business Weekly Review uh, file and you can actually see here an item or last year, let's check the, the, the reviews rating. So this item I started January 2018, I think, uh, to sort, no, actually to sold it like May 2019. And as you can see, I had 54 reviews. So almost like in six months, uh, I'm sorry, six months from 2019, where is it? I got like 200 reviews in a year, okay? And then in this year, 2020, from like, I got like more than 800 reviews, 900 reviews in one year. So this is backed up and also on listing. Let me show you another listing where I have like almost 1500 reviews. So the first year I got like 200 reviews the same. And this year I already got like 1300 reviews. So this is crazy. And um, what I will like, I, I actually didn't really use the request review option until I got blocked by Amazon to proactively sending messages to customers. Uh, they were saying that I was uh, doing things against the OS. I didn't, but I, you know, I just like wrote a little sentence that if they can help me, you know, me and my f small family business, which something will take them only 30 seconds, they can uh, really help me grow this business, business and support uh, a small US business. And you know, it worked very well. But then, you know, everything in life happened for a good reason. That's how I like to look at things. And because of that thing, I transitioned to uh, the request review automation and I showed previously in the, the the other tool that I'm using is the sage mailer so the sage mailer you let me show you how it works let me log in and it was great it's a great tool I'm still using it so you would have like the campaigns and then you request review automation and then you like you allow the campaign so you see like a schedule like 34600 and sent uh like 4600 and the delivery is based on seven days after delivery they are going to send them the the template like the request review now you don't really have an option to change the text or the template which is the only downside i see here because sometimes you have products that have issues or they're hard to understand and for me, when I was requesting review, that was an opportunity for me to explain them that, you know, there is a, like, not maybe a flaw or just explain them things a little better before they leave a review. And with this option, I just don't have that the ability to include a small message on, oh, if something went wrong, talk to me. I will, you know, don't leave a review. I will make it happy, like, make you happy or uh, make sure that you... Uh, wash it in cold water or things like that that you know will help you uh, prevent those one star reviews so uh, this is the only downside so but other than that you get so many reviews quickly that it's definitely worth it now I pay for my tier the number of orders that I have every month I pay like $60 or $70 I'm not sure and what I figure out that Helium 10 they released also the option to request review automation so in order and it's and it's free so if you have a helium 10 pa package or membership you can use that you go to follow up and then you go to your the, the automation part and you can actually uh click on new automation and create a new automation so what i like to do is not when the order shipped after it's delivered i wait seven days 
they don't have me. Okay, seven days here, confirm. And then I do some filters. Those that refunded, I want them to be excluded. That's it. Then you can include specific ASINs or SKUs. So once you are done, you just call it the automation name, save, and that's it. They are going to request this automatically for you instead of going to the order itself. And let me show you what do I mean by that. Instead of like going back to orders and then have to like, let's do like uh, last 30 days. Um, and let's go to page nine, I don't know. And then go to the order itself and you can actually request it here. So instead of doing it manually, Amazon or the new uh, Helium 10 tool is allowing you to do it automatically. So you save some, you know, it saves you a lot of time. And before that, it wasn't really available, but now it is. So you can like, you know, um, use that. I'm, I'm going to transition. Now I did it on only on like one account, but now I have it on uh, the second account. So that's something that you should use as well. Now, if you want a discount code to Helium 10, uh, I have to disclose that I'm affiliated with them. So for every membership that you sign through my link, I get some commission. But you know, if you're not planning to get it, don't get it. But if you do, you can use this code, this link at the bottom of the description. Um, definitely use it. Let me know what do you think. If you used it, what are the results using the request review automation? And thank you for watching this video. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you didn't subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.